Okay, you guys. So now that I've drawn my character, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it all. And I am going to right click and group the selection. So it actually makes a group. So if you go over here to the line, it calls it a group. Uh, you can double click, let's uh, rename it. Uh, it's not allowing me to name it. I thought it would allow me to name it because um, other programs allow you to name it. So that's my group of, of um, my Keith Herring drawing. So if you haven't noticed, I have lots of groups here uh, because I was a little lazy. I'm going to pull him over since I know I'm going to pull him all the way up to the top. So he's at my top group. So I was a little lazy and I pulled an old drawing of Keith Herring that I've done before. Uh, and um, let's say original, original video. It's still too small, it's still too big. Um, let me make it about 66. Okay, there it is. So um, being a little, I don't, I don't like to redo my stuff. I don't like to um, start from scratch. So I pulled in images from previous Keith Haring drawings that I've done and um, basically mashed them up into a Keith Haring perspective. And now that I have all of that, um, I can actually click on my character and I can put them wherever I want. And this has him in a large space taking up two boxes there. Um, so this is basically how you're going to do that. If you want to make them, you know, if you want to make a copy of them, you can hold the Alt key down and it's going to make a copy of the entire group and you can actually fit them into like a smaller square, you know, into the area, you know, wherever you guys want to then move them to. Um, so that's, that's the really good thing about um, working with, with drawings online. Um, you can then change it to whatever you want. Uh, whichever way you want, you know, you can change the colors, you can change the size, um, you can move things and, and modify them so that it fits to all of your different um, settings. So let me go ahead and my pictures in the way. So let me try to make that about 50 so you can see how that, that is. Um, you don't have to draw as many Keith Herrings. Um, like I was saying, you guys can actually uh, draw one or two and then share them with each other. If everybody drew one, um, you guys would have at least um, 20. But I know there's going to be uh, repetitions because somebody's going to want to draw the same one. A lot of people like the mother and child. Um, a lot of people like, you know, you know, the loved one. All these different things that, that, are, that he was able to then do. I, I really personally like that. Uh, the wolf or the dog. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an Instagram frame with your Keith Herring artwork. Um, it doesn't have to be this small uh, as far as this uh, the small pattern. You can make the pattern bigger. So if you wanted to make it like this portion or this portion of the square, whichever way you want to do it so that it would then highlight that you are actually giving homage to Keith Haring, and you are actually giving homage to Piet Mondrian because uh, they're both styles, and you're combining the two styles almost like a mashup, like uh, of of two songs. So um, this is what I'm looking for. I'm going to give you a significant amount of time to get, for you guys to work on this today. Let me go ahead and do a file save as. Uh, I'm going to do a file save because we already saved it. So it's already saved as uh, Kit, um, Keith uh, and Piet mashup. And then I'm going to download the file. So it downloads the, uh, the, the Gravit, Gravit design file. So if I need to work on it again, I can work on it again either from my computer or from my save, uh, save file on the cloud. Uh, once again, you need to export a JPEG so that we can then upload it. And since this is uh, an Instagram file, you guys can say, post it to your Instagram 